welcome back. So we've taken a look at how we can layer textures one on top of the other. You can change the opacity, you can change the mixing type, you can change the resolution, you can change the opacity here, you can change the opacity and color of veins of the asset, you can change the expansion of the asset. Contrast, projection blend can be useful sometimes, you can just tweak that and you will see like a, it's kind of how it marries up and so, because sometimes you get like a little tiny seam in here, but uh, as this develops, you will see that that's not really too much of an issue. But yeah, let's get into some wounds now. And um, we kind of have to figure out, is this kind of a rotting zombie or is that a new zombie? One of the first things I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put a bruise on here. Um, Cause I said, I'm, I'm more interested in the color. Um, the great thing about this is when you come up to an asset like that, and um, I mean, obviously you have the mixing, um, which you know, you can, you can get quite a subtle effect. When the resolution on this goes up, you'll, you'll see a lot more detail, but you change the scale on the asset. And then that, I mean, that um, gives you an interesting possibility because this is intended to be a bruise, but this is kind of my point about this whole system is that there is no right and wrong way to do this. So when it's down um, smaller and actually more solid to color, let's just get this to multiply. You know, it is kind of the appearance of bruised skin. And that's what we're after. The zombie has been knocked and smashed into things. And uh, obviously things like hands and forearms would be places where you'd have interest, but this is cool. And um, you can change the width, squeeze it up, change the height. You can rotate it. I mean, everything here is pretty self-explanatory. Um, out, softening. Stroke blur, blur spread is, this is, um, easy. let's get this up, let's get away from the normal multiply. So, here we go with the bevel expansion, uh, rotation, stroke strength, you're seeing that around the edge more. So take the blur down the expansion. And distortion strength is around the edges and this this is kind of like tied into things like now I've increased the opacity here so I've made a very solid color um, you're starting to see how that works for you and how that can create another effect and then the distortion type um, so that's kind of cool it could be something that you're going for Um, let's get the opacity of the green. It's kind of, well, it's actually very groovy. And then we can have that coming in from the inside. Um, but that could be any color you like. And uh, on the fly, uh, but I kind of like the green. I tend to find that there is no reason why you can't use colors, very strong colors up the top of the, the tree, but you know, the, the color window. But for more realistic colors, it tends to be, you find that if you sample a color, and even if you were to take a prosthetic makeup from a zombie of a, a movie or a TV show that you liked and sampled the colors, you probably find that the color tend to stay down here except for into wounds and things. But there is no right and wrong way of doing this, but you'd be surprised. Color on, on prosthetics tends to stay down the bottom here. It's actually much more subtle. And with just some very rich colors here and there. There you go, you can do that, you can expand it can change the roughness so you get a more wet look. You can invert the normal, which gives you another very different look. You can over crank these, by which I mean you can go past past the limit. It doesn't work on every single thing, but uh, people don't realize that you can over crank these. Expansion, there you go. Blur less, so we're starting to pick out more detail in that. Uh, Increase the contrast, change the tile, get another effect, rotate the asset, increase the normal strength, and we're getting another effect. So I don't know whether we, uh, we'll attempt to over crank this, let's see if it does anything. Yes, it is. Uh, dare we? Shall we go further? Eight. Ooh. So, 
now what was a bruise is becoming a diseased I'm not sure what but I actually like that a lot and what's cool is that um, I'm going to move that down so, so you move the asset around with these controls they call the offset so I kind of like that in here I'm going to reduce the scale no. and I'm going to see what happens when you scale it up scale it up and take the opacity down Ooh. that kind of rocks I like that I like that a lot this is the best part for me duplicate right now that could be what you're going for you could over crank the color by doubling one on top of the other but something I like to do is if I move this And I'm going to rotate it. And I'm going to actually put it, I'm going to go way up, I'm going to go way back, I'm going to get it onto the ear a little bit to, to tie it together. That I like, kind of like this, but sometimes you can, changing the width and Let's just rotate it so it's not the same as the other one completely. Here. And I just tweak a few settings so that we start to get something else. And and so now I'm, I'm starting to layer in quite a nice effect here. And then let's say we duplicate that again. Now, I go to move to and I go to the body. And here it is. It's appeared on the side torso, which is place kind of like to place a kind of a prosthetic, which is the way we can think of these. And even though the scale there's a discrepancy in the size of the scale of the of the asset, it doesn't matter actually. I, I kind of like that. It's a bit, a bit over the top there. I always like things kind of sneaking around. <laughs> Let's offset it to the X. Let's put it here. Yeah, uh, we could put on our auxiliary light and take a look. I like that. I'm going to duplicate it. Let's see if we can. Don't move it, but let's squeeze it a bit. And like that. That's kind of interesting because it looks like the flesh is stretching this way. So I'm going to move him up and I'm going to move him over because because it's kind of projecting the asset onto the top. You will have to, to get that stretching effect again, you'll have to do some experimentation. But I kind of like the way that that's looking it's kind of like the skin is being dragged over and it's almost like a burn and it's all s sort of like sort of cheesy so yeah um that is the way that you can add just with one asset one single asset you can see what we've started to do here so i'm really i'm going to just work with this one single asset and show you what you can do with just one single asset Drop that down into a couple more places to make it more interesting and then we'll move on to some of the wounds and see how they work. Okay, thanks.